A lot of our perception on film is shaped by Hollywood actors, directors, genres, and film franchises. It's hard to avoid this with some of the huge film budgets and hype surrounding movies like Infinity War and Disney's Star Wars reboots. However, beyond the things on screen, what really makes or breaks a film is the cinematography. Cinematography is a wide topic, ranging from camera equipment and aspect ratios to camera angles and lighting. We'll be focusing on camera angles and camera movements, but more importantly, how cinematographers use these as tools to support the action and dialogue happening on screen. Going all the way back, the true precursor to film as an entertainment form was theater. From Odysseus to Hamlet, people love watching the struggle of humanity, and theater combines visual and verbal elements of communication in a way that written word could not. With the advent of photography in the 1820s, artists could capture and hold on to a visual moment in time, but still couldn't capture the motion of people or objects. With the invention of the zoo praxiscope and Edward Muybridge's mo pictures of moving horses, the world of entertainment was forever changed. Unlike theater, film chooses what the audience sees and doesn't see. When creating a film, directors need to decide where the camera would focus. Early films chose to set scenes in a more theatrical way, setting actors at three-quarter angles and setting wide open shots. However, directors and producers soon realized that by cutting between scenes, moving the camera, and adjusting the camera's focus creatively, they could add another element on top of what theater already offered. Film cutting, or scene cutting, allowed the action to flow from scene to scene, as our brain perceives that the action continues linearly, despite a change in location or characters. This was originally achieved by physically cutting film apart, then reattaching it. In Life of an American Fireman, directed by Edward Muybridge in 1903, the action cuts between an interior shot and exterior shot of a woman in a burning house. Even though the camera angles face opposite each other, the audience can connect the action as the same. An essential cut, the over-the-shoulder shot, allows audiences to feel as if they were in the conversation. The inclusion of the other actor's shoulder or head adheres the shots together, but they don't feel as artificial as a three-quarter dramatic pose. Cutting could also be used as a special effect. By keeping the actors in place, but changing the mise-en-scene, directors could make things appear or disappear. In Georges Méliès's 1902 film, A Trip to the Moon, telescopes turn into stools and umbrellas turn into magical mushrooms, thanks to some creative cutting. Camera movements took film from static, theater-like displays to dynamic and more lifelike action. Camera pans, or side-to-side -side movement, allow the camera to follow the action as it moves, as seen in Edwin Porter's 1903 film, The Great Train Robbery. There are dozens of other ways to move the camera and hundreds of combinations of movements, but some important ones are dollying, craning, tilting, pedestal, and follow. The movement of the camera created a unique problem for filmmakers as no other art form required the same real-time movement of equipment. The focus of the camera also impacts the way we view films. The human eye naturally focuses onto whatever subject it's viewing. However, a camera's focus can be controlled. Focus pulls can create a bleary or dreamy effect, acting as a nice scene transition or an indication that a character is falling asleep. Let's look at how some of these cinematography tricks were famously employed in films. The tilt, an often misunderstood and underappreciated shot, actually introduced a 1977 cult favorite, Star Wars. By tilting downward from the stars toward the planet Tatooine, the audience gets a sense of the magnitude and scale of the planets and starships. The 1980 Stanley Kubrick film, The Shining, uses spectacular cinematography to add to the eeriness and emptiness of the Overlook Hotel. The opening sequence includes flyover shots establishing the emptiness of the Rocky Mountains. A Steadicam follow shot of Danny on his bike explores the endless halls sharply punctuated by the twins. 
The Imperial Guard fight scene in 2017's Star Wars The Last Jedi includes cutting between Rey and Kylo Ren, creating cohesion between an otherwise chaotic and action-driven fight scene. The creative camera flow melds the two simultaneous fights together and keeps the scene from feeling detached. An exciting combination of dolly and camera zoom is, you guessed it, the dolly zoom. This simultaneous movement of the camera and focus change gives the impression that the world is zooming away from or toward the focal point. In 1982's Poltergeist, this is employed to give the effect that the hallway is, in fact, extending, due to supernatural forces. While it may seem that filmmakers would have exhausted all possible cinematographic choices, they continue to innovate and find new combinations of shots and techniques. 1999's The Matrix was the first of its kind, employing use of 360-degree camera rotations to follow action and fight scenes. Cinematographer Bill Pope used this action in light-dark contrasts to stylize the film. The high contrast and green overtones throughout add to the grim and dark fate of humanity in The Matrix. A Match Made in Heaven, director Christopher Nolan and cinematographer Wally Pfister created brilliant movies, including Memento, The Dark Knight, and Inception in the last 20 years. Many movies the pair created toy with the volatility of time, and the cinematography beautifully reflects this. In Inception, the freezing or slowing down of camera rates, fluidity of camera orientation, and extensive parallel cutting force the viewer to constantly reassess where and when action is taking place. Oftentimes, the untrained eye won't recognize great cinematography because it simply blends into the film, supporting the story on screen. However, without this behind-the-scenes art, film would be missing the key element that sets it apart from all other media.